Yo, check it out. I got some bang. Purple guava pear. My favorite. Ooh. Ooh. That bang is a delicious energy drink with a variety of flavors like this one. This one. Even including caffeine-free options if you're a little younger. Check it out. Got a new fresh flavor of bangster berry. Woo! Guys, I need to drink a full can of bang before I film. That's how I get that blast of energy. Let's go. Woo! You can follow them and stay up to date at Bang Energy. Check out everything they have to offer and use my coupon code. Tall25 for 25% off your purchase exclusively for you guys. More information in the description. Oh! Am I good, guys? Uh, okay. Yeah, they give you a blast of energy. And that's it. So many flavors to choose from, like Citrus Twist. Is my face okay? Citrus Twist and Purple Guava Pear. Let's mix them together. Wow, that's delicious. Let's go, guys. That's gonna wrap it up. We're gonna get right back into the video. Are you ready? Let's go. These are the weirdest things found in Japan. Only Japan. Do you guys think these are weird? No. No? Good. Because I look hot. Okay, fine. I won't use these. I'll go back to my normal self. Okay, I'll stop now. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to Reaction Time. Today, we're looking at things only found in Japan, like turning train seats. You guys know that train seats in Japan can actually turn a full 360. Well, yeah, because they don't have them here in the US. That's only one of many things we're going to be looking at today. I think most of these are going to be shocking to you. If you live in the Western part of the world or have never been to Japan, I've actually just got back from Japan recently, went for my friend's birthday, and it was very surreal. Everything's extremely clean. People there dress really nice. The food is always fresh. And honestly, I'm in love with Japanese culture. Guys, make sure to comment down below if you've been to Japan. What was the weirdest thing you've seen? Or if you speak Japanese, let me know all down in the comments below. So again, guys, before we begin, if you're new here, I'm Tall Fishman. These are my socials, Instagram and Twitter. If you don't follow me on there, make sure to give me a follow. Subscribe to the channel. Click that red subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. And we're going to jump right into it. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Next up, we have a cafe for lonely people. So this cafe has a large stuffed animal sitting right in front of you so you don't have to feel lonely. Guys, it's just me or it's like extremely relatable. The hell, they thought of everything. They know the deepest struggles of being a loner. No eres un solitario. Oh, that's right. Got Alfredo. My number one homie, true for luck. A savage. Yes, he roasts me sometimes, but you know, he's the end of the day, he's my friend. No, no and soy. that's all that matters. I thought you were my friend. Okay, I'm going to the cafeteria. Guess I'll have a real friend there. Dude, he looks super friendly. And uh, you just pay for food. But do you have to buy the stuffed animal a meal too? I don't know. Do you guys think it's creepy or super genius? Which one is it? Let's keep going. And yes, there is diagonal crossings in Japan, which is not that common where I am. Okay, let me show you guys. Guys, so I was actually there, as you guys can see. I was going right through it, what you guys can see right there. And yeah, it was a pretty surreal experience because there's so many people. And they come from all different angles, so you don't even know if they're gonna hit you or not by accident. Only in Japan. Next up, they got a silent karaoke microphone. I wonder what that looks like in action. So it's designed to hear yourself so you don't sing loud and disturb other people. That's actually super genius. It's a very simple invention. It has a tube. The audio goes through and goes directly to your ear. Look, she's like vibing out. Okay, sing to yourself. It, yes, it looks really weird. It looks like you're trying to uh, breathe. It looks like you're trying to help yourself breathe or something. Okay, noiseless karaoke mic. Okay, so she actually reviewed this uh, contraption and watch this. <laughs> Good singer, but you can still hear. So I don't know how good this invention actually works, but don't fear. It's not the only thing that came out of Japan. We got a lot more cool stuff. We got a cushion for lying down and working at the same time. If you hate sitting down and it hurts your back, you, you can just lie down and this contraption can actually lift you up so you don't hurt your neck. I don't know, with my long neck, I don't know if it would work. You guys think it would work? 
I don't know. So in Japan, usually when somebody owns a house, they put the owner's last name instead of the house number. I actually did not know that and I've been in Japan. In most countries I've been to, there's a house number with a street, a street number combination. Now it's a street last name combination. Actually seen this in action. So it uses water that comes into the toilet and reutilizes it so you can wash your hands and then it goes directly into the toilet. Very efficient, and very cool. I don't know why more countries don't utilize this. Super smart invention. Like I would definitely utilize this. No, 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 no. Clean water comes in from the pipe. You wash your hands and then it goes to the toilet bowl. So guys, remember I had these glasses? Yeah, these glasses, well, there's actually face covers for when they eat. So they can eat whatever they want, however they want, and it doesn't look embarrassing. It's like a little napkin and it's usually designed to eat burgers. You guys hate when it spills all over you and you feel like a nasty pig. Well, don't worry. Now you can do that and no one will ever notice you. Also, guys, there are special pillows if you're a man that's feeling a little lonely. No, not me. Not me. No, I'm talking about this guy right here. As you can see, there's a special pillow that makes it look like it's a woman's lap. So you can have a nice and comfortable sleep in the woman of your dreams. Mm-hmm. Is that weird or is that cool? There's also this thing called a capsule hotel, which are very, very cheap hotels that look like little pods. You can do whatever you want there. You know, you can get uh, freaky or you just take a quick slumber if it's lunchtime and you're really tired. Also, this chin holder contraption is a common thing and can help people sleep on subways if they're really tired and can't find a seat. And now they invented the hair holder. So your hair doesn't turn into the noodle. You can enjoy the noodles without some extra hair noodles. And it doesn't even cost that much. It's plastic, but it's soft and is very effective. Yes, you can put on a hairnet, but that takes too long and makes it feel weird. There's also a thing called diet water. I think it's just water, right? It's just water. There's nothing special. I mean, there's nothing too crazy about it, but it's for a good diet. And if you didn't know, there is not just green traffic lights. There's also blue traffic lights in Japan. Blue and red reminds me of a uh, police. So this kind of can get confusing. Now, if you know, red means stop, green means go. So in Japan, it's more of a turquoise color is what they call it. And in some areas, they're outright blue. I feel like green is a better color though, because if the sky is blue and for most of the street lights, you have to look up. And then if there's a blue, maybe it's a little harder to see. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know. You guys might have not known this, but there is some front seat TVs in vehicles now in Japan. It's a navigation screen by the driver's seat and can be a TV screen for backseat riders if they need it, but it can get a little distracting. And this is only exclusive to Japan. Now this takes texting and driving to a whole nother level. You'll be surprised to get pulled over for texting and driving when this is a bigger problem. There's also some insane vending machines in Japan. There's ones that you can even buy cars, electronics, you can buy ramen and those little drinks. That's something I've noticed. Vending machines are very popular. Everything's automated, so you don't have to wait in line. There's sushi socks. Bottled flying fish, surgical masks, even canned carrots. That's how random it can get with these vending machines. There's also a wasabi flavored Kit Kat. Again, only exclusive to Japan. You won't really be able to find this anywhere else. It also has a sake flavor and a purple sweet potato Kit Kat flavor. Not just your typical chocolate or white chocolate flavors in America. Okay, guys, there's also special Doritos. These are heart shaped Doritos. Are they heart flavored? We will never know. But yes, American brands also exist in Japan. Just completely rebranded. This one is cheesy flavor, but I really want to try it now. Now, there's also a special Pepsi drink in Japan. It's called Sakura. If you never experienced it, you should probably get it just to try it. And guys, also, if you want to fact check me and just put it in down below in the comments, because I'm just going based off these articles, but maybe some of these things aren't really true. If you live in Japan, you would know way better. There's also banana flavored Fanta. Now, Fanta is usually an orange flavor. It's like an orange cream flavor, but now banana flavor. I know banana strawberry smoothies, but those are like almost like milkshakes. This is a carbonated soft drink, banana flavored. If you guys have ever tried it, again, I want to know. Let me know. Tweet it at me. Follow me on Twitter. Now going back to Kit Kat, there's also a strawberry cheesecake flavor. Now I wonder what that would taste like. Would it actually simulate real flavors from strawberry cheesecake or would it be totally different? Because I've had some sweets that said they taste like a certain thing and they're completely different. Now how about french fries with a special sauce with a special dispenser? So this is a dispenser that can mix two flavors with one. You just have lines you have to slit and then you squeeze it from the top and there you have it. You can have two flavors on your french fries. Like if you want ketchup and mustard at the same time, you got it. I don't know why you do want that actually. That's, that tastes really weird. I really like ketchup by the way. Like I drink it from the bottle. Apparently there's also a blacked out burger, which I've never tried, but they have those. I think they've also had it here in America for a limited time, but I was never able to try it. Now again, cosplay, especially for anime, is super big in Japan. They are the creators of anime. So it's very praised and very normal to just dress like this on the street. Did you guys know there's also a Pikachu themed restaurant in Japan? That's how seriously they take Pikachu. It was a very big thing for Japan. The Pokemon 
Pokemon series and other hit series like that. And there's also special animal cafes like owl, cat, and more. So if you guys have never checked it out, here's like a quick montage to show you what it's all about. Last but not least, keyboards are designed completely different in Japan. This is a circular keyboard, not your typical block that we see here. Well, like in most countries, this keyboard apparently is better for you and more efficient because your hands are designed in like a circular way. It's easier to reach rather than going across on a rectangular block. And here are more specialty keyboards. As you guys can see here, exclusive to Japan. That actually looks like a butterfly design, but it's super cool. And I hope you guys enjoy the compilation of strange things you can only find in Japan. Now, if you did, please subscribe, leave a like, guys. I appreciate the love. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys have a great one. Until then, don't forget, get your merch at timelessbrand.com. First link in the description or just type it in timelessbrand.com. We got all sorts of colors and variety. We got a yellow, a red, a pink, a blue, and even the palm tree. And follow me and Alfredo on our socials at TallFishman, Instagram and Twitter, at Alfredo's Hedgy on Instagram. You guys gave him too many followers though. Maybe you shouldn't follow him. I have a huge announcement. Alfredo, our favorite hedgehog, the savage, the money man, the ladies man, is not going to be on sale. Oh, I see Really? Now you're interested? We're selling Alfredo replicas because so many of you have really been requesting it. So here it is. Go to TimelessBrand.com. Pre-orders are now live, so make sure to get yours. Once we reach a quantity amount, we won't be able to sell it for a while. So it's only available for a limited time. Hurry up. I don't know how Alfredo actually feels about this. Selling his twin brothers. That was just a quick announcement. Let's get back to the video. Have a good one, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And peace.